Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the Glamour Nuggets printed from the Taiwan Playing Card Company. All right, so what are the Glamour Nuggets playing cards? This is a throwback uh, design made to look like the old uh, Las Vegas Gold Nuggets. Now the Gold Nuggets, the old decks, they're really highly collectible, very popular deck of vintage playing cards printed around the 1970s. It was a luxury hotel and casino in Las Vegas. And so the Glamour Nuggets playing cards have the retro feel, the retro look, and they're this tribute deck now to Golden Nugget playing cards. This deck was made available from Zhu Yu Wan. And like I said, it was printed from the Taiwan playing card company. So the same exact uh, printing press that makes Expert and makes Legends. So if you like those decks, it's gonna feel like that. I'm not really sure who produced the deck. There's been some speculation that Alloys produced it or maybe uh, EPCS. Uh, I'm not sure, but I do know that Zhu Yu Wan was the inspiration behind it. And they, like I said, they were printed from the Taiwan playing card company. Across the front of the tech case, it says Glamour Nugget Gambling Hall, and it is a two-way image, and the ink is all done in black and gold with uh, the white showing through. Uh, both sides of the tech case say Glamour Nugget, and the bottom simply says Downtown Las Vegas, Nevada. The top also says Downtown Las Vegas, Nevada, and you have an original tuck seal that says a Las Vegas playing card company. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Taiwan a playing card company and they are done on a very thick casino grade stock. Uh, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel and how they handle. Best thing I can do is measure them, put them into a caliper and give you an idea of how they might feel or handle. When I stick 10 of these into the caliper, it comes to 3.31. 3.31 is very thick. I don't have any other cards that come out to 3.31. Uh, and I would think that the reason behind that is of course the gold foil that you see flashing on there. Yes, the back design uh, has a gold foil uh, ink right on top of that. You have the nice white poker border there uh, amidst a giant field of black and then all the lettering is done in gold foil, which I would assume makes the cards a lot thicker. Now, as far as how these cards might feel or handle, when I hold the cards in my hand, they do have a nice spring to them. They have a nice snap to them. They waterfall very well uh, going from one hand to the next. So there's a nice, beautiful glide on them. If I hold the cards together and look at the side, um, they're not too much of a rough cut. They are smoother than most. And if you look at the front there, uh, the front corners, they are very smooth too as well. So it does have a medium, I would say a medium smoothness to the sides and to the corners. And it has a really nice feel. And like I said, they're thick, so they're very snappy, very springy. Your Ace of Spades is done in a very vintage retro look. It does a Glamour Nugget Gambling Hall inside the spade pip. And it says downtown Las Vegas, Nevada underneath that. With this deck, you'll also get two original Jokers. They say Joker in the corner and then compliments of Glamour Nugget Gambling Hall, downtown Las Vegas, Nevada. Your pips and indices and court cards are all gonna be completely standard, which will make them perfect for gameplay, flourishing, and magic. All right, so that's my review of the Glamour Nugget Limited Edition. Uh, limited Edition, this was the black with the gold foil. These cards are also available uh, in blue, red, black, brown, purple, orange as well. Uh, they were very limited release. Uh, there was some copyright restrictions uh, with making these, so I'm not exactly sure they got permission to copy the logo as perfectly as they did. So I've heard through the grapevine that they were printed once and they'll never be printed again. So if you'd like to find a copy of these, I would highly recommend you head on down to rareplayingcards.com. That's where I got mine. And so uh, if there's still any left, uh, that's where I would head right now uh, if you would like to purchase this deck. Thanks. Bye.